Alright guys, Dominic here for KitGuru and today AMD has announced its new RX 6600 which is essentially a cut down version of the 6600 XT that launched back in August. Just as with that launch though, there is no reference card, so today we're going to be looking at the Asus 6600 Dual as well as the Gigabyte 6600 Eagle. Today's review is going to be a bit different from normal though as I'm not feeling particularly well so instead of my usual style where I show you all the data, give some analysis, that sort of thing and talk over the benchmarks, instead today I'm just going to let the benchmarks run and play some background music so you can get all the data you need. If you still do want the analysis as to exactly how good this GPU is and where it stacks up, please do check out the written review which will be linked down below. One thing I will say about this GPU, however, is it is very much a damp squib. Like we already said, it's just a cut down 6600 XT, so it's got 256 fewer cores. The GPU is clocked a little bit lower, and instead of 16 gigabit per second memory, we're now looking at 14 gigabit per second memory. It is still 8 gigabytes of GDDR6 with 32 megabytes of Infinity Cache, but once more, we're also looking at eight lanes of PCIe Gen 4 interface. For the testing today, I focused on the Asus Dual, so that's the one you're going to see in every single benchmark. However, as the Asus Dual and the Gigabyte Eagle are both reference clocked, we can expect performance to be essentially identical between the two, and later on I will also show a few benchmarks with both of those GPUs tested. Of course, for our testing today, we are using our regular GPU test system provided to us by PC Specialist. So that is built around the i9-10900K. It's got 32 gigabytes of 3600 MHz DDR4 memory, and that's all plugged into the Asus ROG12 Maximus Hero motherboard. So with that quick intro out of the way, I am going to shut up and let the benchmarks roll.
there we have it then those were the game by game results but for the big picture overview here are the 12 game average frame rates If you're interested in ray tracing performance as well, here is the 1080p data with DXR enabled in three select titles. We'll also take a quick look at graphics card only power draw, followed by the performance per watt data. Now we're going to show a selection of games benchmarked at 1080p where we're looking at both the Asus Duel and the Gigabyte Eagle to show you exactly how similarly they really do perform. And we've also got the thermal, acoustic and total system power draw testing coming up next. And then finally, we'll close out with a few manual overclock benchmarks where we were able to push the Eagle to 2720 MHz and the Asus Dual up to 2800 MHz. So then that is going to do it for this truncated RX 6600 review. Like I said, for a proper analysis, please do check out the written review linked in the description below. But at the very least, I hope you found the benchmark data useful, even if this GPU really isn't going to be exciting anybody. 
Please do also like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. In the description, you can find links to our Discord, to our merch, and also to our Patreon. But that's really it from me, guys. I'm Dominic Forkit Guru, and I'll see you in the next video.